Now, the Nurses and Midwifery Council is dismissing suggestions that it has, in collaboration with Ministry of Health, introduced a quota system for the admissions into the various nursing colleges in the country. According to a statement making the rounds, the decision is to allow training institutions to produce quality nurses to meet the demands of the health sector, therefore reducing unemployment. That statement, which was on the letterhead of the Nurses and Midwifery Council, has been described as fake. And here is that letter, and you're looking at the letterhead upon which it came right there. Let me go through quickly uh, what it says. It says that, so it basically has a reference number, which is NNMC slash admin, that is ADM slash R slash 18201. That's the reference number. And it says that to all principals, NMTCs, heads of departments, nursing and midwifery, dated July 24th, 2018. And it reads this way. 2018 slash 2019 academic year admission quarter, pursuant to the admission policy adopted at a stakeholders meeting last year at the Nursing and Midwifery Council, I wish to present the 2018-19 academic year admission quarter for all nursing and midwifery training schools and other institutions offering nursing and midwifery programs. I would want to caution principals and heads of institutions running nursing and midwifery programs to adhere to the quarter. Any school who flouts the quota policy will be severely dealt with. Attached are details of the 2018-2019 academic year quota for nursing and midwifery uh, programs. We count on your usual cooperation in this regard. Yours faithfully, Felix Nyante, who is the registrar. Um, what we're learning, by the way, is that the, uh, the Nursing and Midwifery Council is dismissing uh, that it was this letter. We don't have the attachment, but let's go quickly on the telephone line. We have on the telephone line now the head of that uh, council, Dr. Kweku Asante Krobia. Sir, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. We've seen the letter going round. It's actually on your letterhead. It actually has a reference number, which I have gone through as well. You say this is fake? Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, and good afternoon to your listeners also. Um, this is just a point of correction. I'm not the head of the National Ministry Council. The National Ministry Council is a regulatory body, and I am the president of the professional association that the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association. Okay. So right. do, you, do you know anything about this letter? Oh, yes, I do. We work together with the council. Okay. So what can you say about it? Is it for real or is it fake? Well, it is a, a good step and one in the right direction. You see, um, establishing the system of quota and implementing it is a way of regulation. And uh, we've been doing that for quite some time now. And it, it has got the uh, implications for better prospects for the people that we train and uh, for the service that they deliver. And so there, there isn't any problem with this at all. So what is the quota? Do we know how many are they supposed to take? Uh, how many are the schools supposed to take in? Well, I, I think the important thing uh, for uh, us to do in this arrangement is uh, the reason for which it is, it is being done. So we, we know that's the reason, because when this story came uh, broke, I remember that we, we got some explanation. You said that you wanted to focus more on specialists? Oh, yeah, that, that is a different story, actually, because the, the story that broke earlier on was about the scrapping of all the de-emphasizing of the training of the uh, certificate nurses, uh, that is the auxiliary. Right. Uh, but this, this one is about... Um, ensuring that uh, we train less numbers according to the infrastructure and uh, situation of the various uh, health institutions. So the two are different. We so are this is obviously numbers. going to cut some people off nursing training. It isn't that we're going to cut people off. Uh, we are not going to discuss the matter for it to appear as if uh, the quota system I had come because uh, we just going to have uh, uh, people to train for the various programs. As it has been um, the arrangement uh, some time past, this year the health 
assistant secretariat working together with the um, other stakeholders, ensure that uh, the health ministry admit according to the capacity that uh, they have with regards to infrastructure. So, is there, so once again, is there a fixed number for a particular institution or does it really depend on the available space? Uh, it is important for all of us to that over the years, the schools have been admitting beyond the capacity because uh, it was felt that they, 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 they had a need for uh, a good number of nurses to be turned out every year. And uh, it hasn't worked well for policy, and that's why at this time, once we have got uh, so many, or not so many as per se, but uh, what we have now um, is, is, is good enough for us to go through the distribution um, so we can have the participants who have the nurses and midwives prepared uh, for service. And so that's okay. going to restrict the training uh, or the um, entry of uh, the needs entering into this institution so that they'll be able to admit according to the capacity that they it's a protractor arrangement for having. And so, what what, what uh, is the average number that a, a a given school can take in for the 2018-2019 academic year? It actually depends on the particular institution because they are not equally endowed. Yeah, I, I'm asking about the average. There, there should be an average, right? Yeah, the, 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 the average, as I'm saying, also depends on the infrastructure specificity. The, um, we have the certificate training programs and we have the diploma training program. And uh, each of them um, will have to come with its peculiarities. Okay. So, um, each school A has a facility that can take 100, and another has a facility that can take 200. That is what should be considered. So, um, the National Mississippi Council, what we have done is to uh, Assess the capacity of the health institution, a particular health institution, and has assigned a particular number to that institution. We are, we are looking at library facilities, we are looking at uh, accommodation for students, we are looking at classrooms, we are looking at teachers within the particular institution, and also uh, the caliber of teachers that are there. Okay. And uh, it augurs well for professional arrangements. And that's what we do. But okay. let me say that um, what we have done is uh, to ensure that we, 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 we prune the number. Let me put it that way. Because last year, we had a number that has been used for this year. And what, what that means is that last year, the students have fitted beyond the capacity that Okay, so, so, so Doc, that's a point that you made earlier earlier on. So basically, uh, um, this letter we're seeing, that's making the rounds, it's authentic, it's not fake. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's authentic. A, I said earlier that this arrangement is not new. We've been doing that over the years. Okay. And uh, there, there was a task that it was felt that we needed to see, we needed to see so many of them to meet a certain need. But and now you uh, want to focus uh, on the special, uh, specialized, specialized categories? Yeah, we have a special category, and okay. that is the uh, advanced statistics. For these, these uh, delays, we are already uh, practicing nurses, and so they go into the training institution to specialize. That is the uh, basic training institution. But this particular one is about the pre service institution. These are Senior high school graduates wanting to do nursing, who have the passion to do nursing, and the need of the Ministry of Health and all these uh, and all its agencies to okay. to have nurses to deliver service to the Ghana. So that is how we are looking at it. All right, sir. Thank you so much for your time um, this afternoon, uh, Doctor Kwekwa Sante Krobia. There is the president of the Registered Midwifery Association.
um, there, giving us some clarity. So that letter is, is, is authentic and this arrangement is actually going on. What we don't know is which school can take how many. We don't know the quotas and we don't know how it's been arranged. What he, he's saying is that uh, the, the, the midwifery and nurses and midwifery council has assessed each institution and uh, given them the respective quotas.